preventive measures, a person can help himself by his living habits. Number one, not smoking. Stop smoking if you're a smoker. If it's gastric pain, stop alcohol altogether. And stop oily food, deep fried foods, and hot chili food. Eat in time, eat regularly. Don't miss meals. Do not overeat. Overeating, the diaphragm pushes up, and if it's got a gastric problem, it gets aggravated. And for cancer of the colon, eat more roughage, less meaty food. Less meaty food. And for those with hemorrhoids or pies, a lot can be done by the patient himself to resolve his problem. Number one, make sure he goes to the toilet every day to pass tools. That's a mistake that a lot of people don't overcome. The thing is, they eat hard meat, not enough fruits, not enough vegetables, which means they get constipated. Constipated means they strain at stools. As a result of straining, piles which are veins at the end of the anus develop and become bigger and bigger and bigger and one day it just drips blood. That is how piles develop. Number one, eating habits, toilet habits, and number three, tissue paper habits. A lot of people rough their back after passing stools to rough tissue paper. Maybe to economize price on tissue paper, but that is a common reason why piles get aggravated. Tissue paper rubbing. So it's better to wash but sometimes you don't get a chance to wash if you're in a shopping center or an office. So still, cleanliness part of it. Hygiene, eating habits, diet, that's diet and eating habits, smoke, alcohol, all these things, if taken care of, to a great extent, can prevent a lot of things. Not altogether, to a certain extent. He can take care of his own body health. And of course, any problem which he thinks is abnormal must consult a doctor. And uh, often you find that people don't consult. If they get constipated for days, they don't bother. It's very common for persons to come here and say, well, I didn't go to the toilet for 10 days. I wonder how he keeps it for 10 days. <laughs> it's quite a task. Or sometimes they come and say, I have no time for lunch. There's no such thing as no time for lunch. You have to take your lunch in time. Otherwise, the gastric juice flows out, irritates the stomach, gets what is called dyspepsia, discomfort first, then gastritis, then gastric ulcer. And gastric ulcer can rarely lead to, sometimes lead to cancer of the stomach. So these are things which the patient himself can take care of. So with the cooperation of the patient and the doctor, he can avoid a lot of illnesses. And of course, go for a routine checkup once in a while.